So, Jay, California yesterday made a major move. Now, of course, we know the love and affinity that you have for this state, and rightfully so when I tell you this. So, yesterday on the ballot was Proposition 17, which restored the right of convicted felons to be able to vote. What are your thoughts on that? Love, love, love. You know, California is my second home, so... You know, Cali is just something different, man. <laughs> you know, Cali is, you know, I'm, I'm just super proud of, uh, you know, the Golden State over there doing they one, two for us, for our people. You know, um, hey, man, you know how many votes that is? I was, I, you know, I think the number was like, what, 50,000 or something like that? But I'm just talking about, imagine if this was every state. You know how many votes that's not counted? Or people don't have an opportunity to vote. And they're not talking about people in jail. We're talking about people who did their time and out. They might be still on parole or probation, but man, that's a lot of votes, man. That's a lot of people not getting, you know, heard. A lot of people that look like me. And so, you know, at the end of the day, and I'm I'm super excited about that. That's a big deal. That's that's major, you know, and being in that situation years and years back. You know, um, I, you know, I wish I would have had the opportunity to participate in certain uh, elections, you know, that I couldn't participate in. I'm able to do so now. So, man, but being in a progressive state like California, you know, you just never know what's going to happen, man. So I'm, I'm happy about it. They, you know, keep being trailblazers over there for sure. So California, to me, when I think about that state, I think about restoration, right? Because they decriminalized marijuana, giving felons the right to vote. And then one of your other favorite uh, companies, a uh, major proposition with that also, you know, do you uh, feel... Uber. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so do you feel the same way? Do you think that California is just a state of restoration where they believe in humanity? No, I just think they're just progressive, man. You know, if you ever been in California, you just listen to the way people talk. It's, they, you know, they, they feel so free. They feel, they feel a lot more comfortable with speaking up. They speak up about their political views, about their um, sexual orientation, about, you know, money, anything. It's not, it's not like they're not hiding anything out there. You go out there, people go to that place to live their life out loud, you know, and so... And I see that happening. You know, I've been all up and down the state and people definitely live their lives out loud, you know, and I think that they're, they they got it. They get it. They, you know, people, they get that you have to, you know, let people be humans. You know, um, you know, we live in the South. We haven't really been able to get a lot of people away from some of those old things that they've been doing. You got some you know, stuff in Atlanta, some stuff in Miami, stuff in Charlotte area, things like that. But most of the South is just like what it used to be for the last 50, 60, 70 years. And, you know, they got to progress. But, you know, over there in California, they, they're definitely progressive. They got some right, the right people. Even when they did have some of the what you would call the wrong people in office, they still were ahead of the curve when it came to setting trends and um, doing things politically as well as, you know, again, everybody lives their life trying to be like a movie star, <laughs> you know, where the, uh, where, that's where the home of that is. And just, you know, when you think of in this country, a place to relax, a place to, you know, be yourself and be free, one of the first places that come to your mind is California. And so what more freeing ways to know that you can exercise your right to vote. And um, if your state thought enough for you to say, you know what, I'm not going to persecute you no further than the time you had to spend behind the wall. When you come out, I'm going to let you be completely whole. Man, that's dope. You definitely got to, you know, um, tip your hat to them. So why do you think the right to vote is taken away from um, individuals that have been convicted? Well, because when you get convicted of a felony, you know, your, your civil rights are taken away from you. Literally. So it's not just your right to vote, um, your right to bear arms. You know, all that is gone until that you absolved of that. And um, they didn't say anything about that portion yet. But um, um, but the vote is a start. It's a huge start. But unless you're pardoned or, you know, get your record expunged, you can't even, you know, have the right um, to bear arms. Your Second Amendment right is gone as well as voting. So it's tough, man, when you take a hit like that and you 
you go to prison and you're trying to come home and you're trying to be 100% for your family, male or female, and you don't have these um, rights to go ahead and move forward, especially as a man. I only can speak from a man's point of view. You know, you were supposed to be the protector and the provider. So you stop you from being able to have um, get the type of jobs you want um, or you might be qualified for. You're not able to, um, you know, protect your family, pass, uh, you know, hand to hand. <laughs> And then also the vote. You're not able to, you know, protect your family by saying, hey, I want to put the right person in the school district or the right person as mayor or the right person on the city council to help my kids get what they're supposed to get and grow up in the proper area. You have no right. You have no opportunity to do that. That's really being powerless. That's the definition of being powerless. So um, giving that right back one thing back, that's the one big thing back that you can give a man or a woman that can make them feel you know, on their road to making them feel whole again. So I think that's a big deal.